You know, there are so many facets that make Delmarva the beautiful landscape that you and I have the pleasure of enjoying day in and day out. The beaches might come to mind or the farms and the fields that really come to life this time of year. You can see a lot from Skycam 16 that there's also something known as the Delaware Wildlands. Tens of thousands of acres of swamps and beautiful natural habitats that it's so important to protect this land of the wildlife that call it home. And that's where the third annual Bald Cypress Bluegrass Festival comes into play. Here to make sense out of all of this are the Conservation Program Manager of Delaware Wildlands. This is Brennan Ness and Development Marketing Manager. This is Wendy Scott. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank Thanks you, Jerry. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, the Del Delaware Wildlands aren't just a place. They're like intertwined all through the state, aren't they? That's right. Um, Delaware Wildlands is a nonprofit conservation organization that's been protecting land throughout Delaware and the Delmarva since 1961. Right. We currently uh, own and protect more than 21,000 acres throughout all three counties of Delaware and also acres in Maryland and Virginia on the Delmarva Peninsula. Okay, but there's a lot out there. Why do you feel it's so important to protect it? Well, the lands that we protect are um, rich in cultural history, but we also think it's really important to support Delaware and the Delmarva's traditional uses of the land. That includes hunting, farming, sustainable timber harvest. But most importantly, um, the lands that we protect are large swaths of um, the Delmarva's most important natural areas. So that includes uh, the coastal tidal marsh, right. um, salt, salt marsh habitats, uh, freshwater habitats, um, the Great Cypress Swamp. Yeah, so, so do I understand you do more than just conserve, you help restore it? That's right. Um, so as an example, um, the Great Cypress Swamp has an interesting history. Uh, about 100 years ago, it was heavily ditched and drained for agricultural purposes and extensive timbering. Mm -hmm. So what was once a lush um, natural landscape was very dry and desolate. And so Delaware Wildlands started protecting those lands in the 1970s. And um, we have since restored a lot of that habitat, hundreds of acres, through um, installing water control structures, right. which allow us to hold some of that water where it should be to yeah. make the swamp more swampier, I guess more, more you could swampier. say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and um, we've also planted so many trees. This year alone, we've planted 4,000 um, bald cypress and uh, Atlantic white cedar trees. And wow. since 2011, uh, we're up to 198,000 trees. That's incredible. Now, just talking before we actually got started here, before we went on camera, I, you obviously are both very passionate about this. Wendy, why, why does this mean so much to you? Well, I, I like to think about the future, too. I mean, it's, it's protecting the lands and waters, clean air, clean water that, that we need today, but we're making sure that no matter how the Delmarva changes, who moves here, how things change in the future, that there will always be enough intact habitat for the wildlife and for the people that are gonna live here 100 years from now. I mean, yeah. that's one of the things about this organization is that we're not just thinking about uh, the next quarter or the next year. We're thinking, we're, we really are looking long term down the road and, and what are, how do we make sure that, um, that these systems, these large ecological systems are functioning and providing the services that we depend on every day that we may not even think about. The, the, the fresh water flowing out of our taps doesn't just get there, it's, it's being filtered through the system, coming through the forest, through the wetlands, um, through the rivers and the streams to, so, to get there. So do you think we're making any progress when it comes to conservation? Well, we're excited about the progress that we're making as an organization. Uh, in the Great Cypress Swamp, there was a family that uh, was Maryland and Delaware family that just donated 160 acres that allowed us to expand the swamp. So that was very exciting yeah. for us. And we feel like when we can look at the progress, what, what Brenna was talking about with the wetlands restoration, where we can really see species that may be in decline elsewhere that are actually thriving and coming back to areas that we're working. So, I mean, th that's the measuring stick for us, is, right. is seeing the, 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 the whole system is thriving, that the animals and the wildlife and the water quality and the air quality is thriving. So to do what you do, needs community support. Absolutely. Right? So yeah, you, we're a nonprofit organization. So we're we're not a state agency, we're not a, you know, government right. 
entity in any way. So this is where the third annual Blue, uh, Bald Cypress Bluegrass Festival comes in, right? Yes. Tell us what's going on. Tell us about so, it. so the Bald Cypress Bluegrass Festival is a way for us to bring people to the Great Cypress Swamp. A lot of people don't even know we have a Great Cypress Swamp. So it, this, it, it's um, 10,600 acres of unbroken forest and wetlands and just this amazing place. And so the festival for us is to create a destination. Right. And we've got five great bands coming this year. Our, our, every year our crowds have been getting bigger, more excitement about it. We've got bands now that are, you know, knocking on our door saying, can I play at your festival <laughs> next year? Um, in fact, one of the bands you have today, Acoustic Turnpike, they approached yeah. us and said, we've heard great things about your festival. We want to come and play for you guys. Awesome. And so we're very excited that they're coming. And we Okay, so this is your third year. Yes. What have you got new this year? So new this year, we've got we've got some different we've got different bands coming this year. Um, we've got different vendors. We've got a, a native plant sale that's going to be um, coming this year, so people can come. We've got a plant expert, nationally known plant expert, who said, "I'll give you everybody free advice. Just come and bring your hardest yeah. plant questions." Um, we've uh, we're, we're going to be having some new food trucks this year. Um, we've got the, the Blue Scoop from Selbyville. Oh. Which, yeah, they're coming. Okay. <laughs> they've, got a, they've got a new food truck, and so, so, so this will be their first uh, public event with their, new, with their new ice cream truck. So be there or be square. Absolutely. All right, give me yeah. the where's and the winds. Okay, so it's on Saturday, May 19th, mm -hmm. at, uh, from 12 to 6, and we're going to have music all day. We've got games. We've got um, different kinds of activities going on, and one of the things that people really love is the fact that throughout the day, your, your ticket also gets you access to a bus loop that's going to be running through the forest. So oh, you get wow. a chance to actually, you know, if you if you don't mind leaving the music for a little while, yeah. get on the bus, take take a little while and go through the forest and, and really see what we're doing there. Thank you for talking to us. I, I got to move on because we, yes. we want to get over them too. But I want to show this off real quick. You said this was actually produced from the... Yeah, so, so we've got vendors this year that are making wood from the trees in the Great Cypress Swamp that we've harvested. And so these are, these are some of the things that we're going to have there for sale. And so so we're going to have this great, uh, we've got both vendors and we also have a great silent auction where people are be able to get wonderful gifts and things that are made, all locally made artisans and interesting things. So this is this is a maple uh, bowl that's right. turned from some beautiful hard maple from the forest and, and also cutting boards, but we've got pepper mills and all different kinds of things. Wendy Brenna, thank you so much for this information. Mm -hmm. You need to go and get your hands on some of this.